All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking Jets news that just came out maybe five minutes ago here. Uh, nothing too crazy, just a small training camp update. The Jets and the Eagles are set to have joint practices on August 24th and August 25th. Okay, so pretty interesting stuff. Now, obviously, the Jets and the Eagles play each other in the preseason. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, we actually play in the regular season as well. That was that extra game that was slotted in. And we actually have a couple of joint practices set with the Green Bay Packers as well the week prior. Okay, so it's going to be a pretty busy training camp for the 2021 New York Jets, and I'm all for it. All right, I am all for it. I absolutely love joint practices. I don't want to say they're more competitive than a normal practice setting because at the end of the day, they're not. But I will say this. I do feel like whenever you have an opportunity to practice or scrimmage against another team, whether it's football, basketball, hockey, baseball, whatever the sport is, whenever you have that opportunity, there is that extra level of competitiveness that does come out in the players, uh, that extra level of aggression. I feel like it's it's almost live bullets. Uh, there isn't that, um, that, that brake pedal, if you will. And we've seen a couple of these joint practices get a little chippy before in the past, you know, amongst other teams out there. And I love it, right? Because guys are, guys are are not backing down they're ready to compete and they just want to get after it they just want to go out there and just show the other team up but when you have two sides doing it it just makes for an awesome practice uh, a really really competitive area so when we're taking a look at the eagles i mean this is a team that has a bunch of really solid veteran players guys like fletcher cox they brought in ryan kerrigan uh who else jason kelsey darius slays another guy who i'm a big fan of just love his game just an awesome veteran piece there at the quarterback position uh but this eagles team also has some young players with high upsides Devontae Smith, Miles Sanders, they went out and acquired Carrion Johnson not too long ago. Landon Dickerson, I mean, he was flat out amazing at Alabama. What a pick there by the Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Now, Jay, there's, there's a bunch of people that love Jalen Hurts, and there's also a bunch of people that don't like Jalen Hurts. For me... I like Hurts. I don't know if he's a if he will be the franchise guy in Philly. I don't have that answer, but I do know this: Jalen Hurts is poised. He can hang in the pocket. He has a good enough arm. Yeah, he's on the shorter end, but he can hurt you on the ground with his legs. A dual threat quarterback here. I feel like Jalen Hurts is at his best when he's rolling out right bootlegs, play action. I feel like that's really where Jalen Hurts shines. He takes care of the football. So overall, I know the jury is still out on Hurts, but he still has a lot of room to grow. Okay, I wouldn't give up on Jalen Hurts just yet. So all in all, I feel like it'll be a beneficial uh, couple days for not only just the Jets, but for the Eagles as well. Uh, two teams that I feel like will, uh, will will have a lot of fun going head to head for a couple days. And then, of course, to see how that translates to game day. I will say this, though. Was there some sort of Joe, uh, Joe Douglas pull in setting this up somehow because Joe Douglas was initially hired from Philadelphia? Maybe he still has some connections over there, much like with the Green Bay Packers situation, where obviously we have a bunch of ties. Matt LaFleur, Mike LaFleur, Robert Sala, the connections are all there. Uh, but I guess at the end of the day, we'll never truly know. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Actually, you know what? Before I, I, before I leave it there, I do want to mention this. Okay, I do want to mention this. Uh, I was on the Jets website early this morning, and they posted something that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern, tickets will be on sale for a handful of training camp practices, and what makes it totally, totally awesome is that it's free, so I'll leave the link to that article down below in the description box. It does not get better than that, uh, along with the video uh, where we kind of talked about the situation with the Green Bay Packers and those joint practices, which will be happening a week prior to the Eagles one. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Jets. Yes.